A binder, in the context of the VFX editor, is a point where an emitter can be attached, directly affecting the behavior of an emitter. In order for a VFX to exist, at least one particle, sound, or effector must be loaded in an emitter, which is then placed on a timeline with binders, before finally being loaded into a scheduler. A binder also partially determines whether it spawns on the caster or target. For clarification, a caster does not immediately equal the player, it means whatever is using that VFX path at the time but if there is no target, it will default to spawning on the caster. Sometimes a VFX will not have any binders when you load it into the source tab. This does not mean the VFX cannot spawn but rather it is attached to an object or prop. The majority of these non-binder VFXs are used for background elements, cutscene effects, or screen shake but there are a few notable player abilities that also do not have binders. There's a lot of minutia when it comes to binders, especially when you factor in rings, TMB binder IDs, binder points and binder types but just know that I will not talk about any more of that and get to the point of this video. By name binders. A. By name binder will spawn an emitter on a predetermined location based on an ID number ranging from 0 onwards. These predetermined locations are often referred to in other parts of the game, such as C042. But in general, they're located on a monster or player's skeleton. A consequence of this, however, is the janky way Final Fantasy XIV handles race scaling. To put it simply, by name binders do not scale emitters properly, relative to the size differences between the small, standard, and large races. Examples of this are Sin Eaters in Shroud's Halos, the Back Ring on Gloriana, and the Flame Rings on the 6.2 tier chest. If you're having trouble visualizing this, think of it like putting stickers on a one-size-fits-all t-shirt that only accounts for the average size. If a target or caster does not have a binder ID present on its skeleton, or it is not enabled via a TMB binder ID, then it will default to ID 0. As of writing this script, the full ID map still remains a mystery and while the creator of VFX said it, Oshialit, did add an update to help clarify what some IDs are where it is still far from complete and some of it is incorrect. Here's more of the map that Crown X74 where and I have scouted that is not on VFX editor as of editing this video.